Hi, thanks for watching. Welcome to my Rainy Conservatory. Today I'm going to be replacing the suspension arm bushes on my Suzuki Jimny. Um, there's many different bushes out there available to choose from. Um, some of them are either talking about 120 quid, the Super Pro ones, etc. Some are easier to fit than others. Uh, I'm on a budget, so I've gone for the cheap, original style uh, standard bushes. Found them to work fine. Um, Oh, I say I'm on a budget, so these things are about £13 each. Um, just a bit harder to fit, so I'm going to show you how to fit these without access to a hydraulic press. So these ones are from Bill Stein. Uh, you can get them from Blueprints as well. I found the Blueprint ones, the standard isn't quite as good as the Bill Stein ones. Um, you can get these off eBay, there's plenty on there. Part number for the Bill Stein ones is 42252 for the rears. The um, difference between the front and the rear ones are the front ones I shall show you now, well the rear ones I shall show you now, look like this. So you've got these slots cut out, the contact with the rubber on the outside ring is only in two points and that's to allow for articulation. These are mounted in a specific way in the arms which I'll show you later. Um, so first thing you need to do when you get these, get them out of the packet, get a black marker and put a couple of lines down the outside which match up to where the rubber contacts the outside ring um, makes it a lot easier fitting it because when we're pushing this into the arm we won't see this point so this goes, just gives us a bit of orientation on which way the bush is as it's going in um, once you've done that you then need to pop it in the freezer there we go one suspension bush in the freezer, leave it overnight. Okay, wheels off. The bolts we need to undo are this very rusty one here, which joins the arm to the axle. Underneath here, there's another one, which does exactly the same thing. Here we've got a 12 milli, which holds on the uh, brake, handbrake cable. And then under here, this big one, which joins the uh, suspension arm to the chassis. Okay, first bolt I'm going to try and tackle is this one here um, on the top mount. Um, I've got a 17mm spanner on the back of it to hold the bolt and 17mm here on the front to hold the nut. Now the rust is cracked, it's uh, coming off nicely but even so I don't think this bolt is going to be going back on it because it's just so rusty so I'll be replacing all the bolts as I go along with shiny new examples. Okay next bolt put 17mm on the back 17mm on the front big hammer let's see what happens mm, not much Nope, that does not want to budge. Right, so as you can see, that is well and truly rusted on. So the uh, hacksaw is going to have to come out on that one, I think. Okay, easiest way I find to cut off a bolt is get just a hacksaw blade. I don't bother with the full hacksaw. And just go for the outside edge of the bolt there. Um, a lot of the time you don't even need to cut the full bolt off as soon as you get halfway through it and then get the spanner back on it. That should loosen because it'll have last contact with the thread. Okay, so I've sawn in about one, maybe two mil there into the bolt. So let's see if that makes any difference. There we go. Doesn't take much at all. There we go, that's the nut off as you can see, didn't take much cutting to get that to come off, just a little nick at the side there, and uh, right, so that's two undone now, so we've just got the front one to do, which should be easy because that was replaced recently, and 
this nice easy 12 mil here that holds the handbrake cable on. After removing this, it's probably best to uh, pop the bolt back in the hole so then you don't lose it. So, uh, front bolt's out, push these ones through now, on the rear bushes, that's that out, handbrake's undone, so now it should just be a case of giving it a wiggle and a knock, <laughs> and it should come down, oh there we go. Give that a bit of a wiggle. And here, in all its glory, is the arm. Wow. And I think it's safe to say that bush especially is completely out of its mind. That one's not far behind. Front one's looking alright actually. Uh, but these back ones very loud bird uh, definitely need replacing something you will need to look out for when you've got the arm off is have a look at these mounting holes at the front here and the back down there make sure they are actually round and not elongated um, sometimes if the bolts aren't tight enough you can move around in there elongate the holes into an oval shape and then you've got problems so in that case apparently a good method is to weld a washer on either side on the outside of there just to return the hole to a, a round shape as opposed to the oval but fortunately these bolts must have been nice and tight so uh, no worries there so here's a comparison between the uh, bush that's in there and how the new ones or how they should look the you can just about make out the bits that are joined there are these bits these bits here the orientation of these bushes is they should line up where the rubber um, is joined to the outside ring should lead from one to the other straight across like that so um, this outer ring here is all rusted in so what I'll be doing next is I'll be uh, getting the drill out and showing you how to get these out very quick and easy way without a press so grab your drill Okay, so as you can see, this ring inside here is all messed up, so this should now just, uh, just tap out. There we go, that's the bit we need out. Now all we've got to do is clean the inside of this up, make it nice and shiny and smooth. So here we got the nice arm um, all cleaned up, all painted up. In here is all nice and smooth, no rust in there or leading edges. So um, to make sure we get the, the bushes aligned in there properly, if you put a flat edge along between the middle of both of those that leads across like that, all will become apparent. Get a pen of some sort and just put some dabs where the um, where that goes across this will give us a reference point for um, the lines that we drew on the bushes earlier so we get those lines lined up there and we get the bushes in the right way this is my homemade press 
Um, went to the nearest nuts and bolts shop, got some rather big washers, which uh, you need something big on one side and something the same size as the uh, bush on the other. So what I've done is I've got these washers. I've also got assortments of smaller washers narrowing down um, and stuck them all together with uh, chemical metal because I can't weld. So um, that sits on there. On the other side, we've got another size washer, same size as that big one there. And I've also stuck to it a, um, a thrust bearing. These are about two pound off eBay. Um, dual use really. Um, one use of it is once it's on there and you're cranking it down, that'll rotate and just make it a lot easier to tighten up. Um, also, that is the same diameter as the end of the bush, so I can also use that to push it fully into the arm. Um, these go together with this bolt, this socket on the end of it. You could use two sockets, I didn't have any sockets big enough. This one, as you can see, is too small, so you could use two sockets if you've got a nice big one and a 52 mil, I think it is, that's the diameter of the bush. You could um, you could use one of those. So this is what I've cobbled together um, seems to work quite well. Get the uh, insides of these nice and lubed up. I'm using this stuff that's for bicycle chains, but it's nice and slippery. Um, you can't go overboard with this really. Um, make sure it's nice and lubed up in there, and then that's ready for pushing the bushes in. Time to get the bushes out of the freezer. Be careful, these can stick to your hands because they are very, very cold. Right, that's the press in place. Um, going back to those lines that we made earlier, they need to line up, as you can see, with these little white dots that we've drawn on. That's the nearest, damn it. Because as you can see, we can't see where the rubber contacts the ring anymore, so that just helps us line them up to get them in there properly. And now it's just time to get the spanner on and uh, get it tightened up. go one suspension bush nicely pressed in um, this lot cost all in all about five quid make sure you use a high tensile bolt not anything too cheap and nasty and uh, yeah easy peasy So here we are, here's the arm ready to go. I've got a sneaky coat of um, high temperature grey just to make it look a little more, more standard than black hammerite. And uh, let's get it bolted back up again. The front end's the easiest one to get in first. Just wiggle it into position there. Uh, hopefully that's lined up to be able to get the bolt through. Just lift the back end of the arm up and offer it into these mounts. So that's almost lined up. Um, it's never going to line up perfectly, we need to straighten that out. Got some lovely new bolts to go in there. There we go, so we've got new bolt on here at the top, underneath here, that's all bolted up. They should be mega tight, like really top them up. And it's the same with this front one. All nicely talked up. We've got the uh, handbrake cable mount back in, and um, yeah, we're all done. It's ready to rock. <laughs> 